What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Pookie Ding. I'm now with the pegs for week 10. Can you believe it? We're ready in week 10. Today, the Indianapolis Colts versus the Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans just came back. Uh, bro, I mean, from that two, you know, the two, two losses, um, they beat my Chicago Bears. Um, they, you know, they won. They're going to go against the Colts, and um, but I know this is gonna be a hard game, man. They, because both teams are really good, you know. But um, who knows? You know, you don't know. But I'm gonna be picking the Tennessee Titans to win this game because. Um, so then on week game two, we got the Cleveland Browns versus the Houston Texans. The Texans just got a victory over the Jaguars. The Jaguars, I mean, come on, um, the Cleveland Browns, they, I think they got Nick Chubb's back. I'm not sure, or he's still up. But, um, yeah, but give me, the Browns are favored by three. So, but, um, give me the Cleveland Browns to win this game. Then we're going to go to the Washington No Names versus the Detroit Lions, you know. Um, you know, the Lions just lost last weekend, I know, to the um, and Washington Redskins, the Washington No Names, excuse me. Um, you know, they, they're, they're, they're like so many injuries and they lost it to like their quarterbacks like left and right, you know. Um, but... I'm gonna be picking the Lions to win this game, man. As much as um, so then um, okay, and then I'm gonna go to <clears throat> the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Green Bay Packers. You know, you know, the Packers are favored by 13. You know, um, give me, you know, as much as we don't want to see this, but I don't see them, the Jaguars being the Green Bay Packers in that way. Oh man, I hope. Man, they pull off uh, a miracle and win this game, but I don't see that happening. So, um, give me the Packers to win this game. But, you know, I don't mean you is the owl, you know, but I hope, man, I'm praying that they beat the Packers. But, so, then we're going to go to the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Jets. I mean the Giants, excuse me, the Giants, and the they go their favorite by three, you know, and these are two goddamn awful teams, you know, um, that division is is like pure garbage, man. I don't know, I can't, you know, I man, I can't believe that someone's gonna from that division is gonna be make it to the playoffs, you know, so. But I'm going to be picking the Eagles to win this <clears throat> game because a lot of their um, players are coming back from injury and that stuff. So, um, then we're going to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Panthers. You know, um, the I don't know what happened to the Buccaneers, man. They just, they just got their butts whooped by the Saints last weekend. You know... So, I think they wouldn't want to bounce back, but they, you know, they have to start clicking with Antonio Brown, you know, um, because, you, you know, but, you know, the Bucks couldn't even score one touchdown against the New Orleans Saints, so, um, the Panthers, man, they just lost, um, McCaffrey again because of that, uh, uh, like, a uh, shoulder injury again, um, Man, but it looks like it's gonna be my Davis is gonna be the running in there. So um but um pick I'm gonna gonna say the Bucks will so win this game, you know. So um then we're gonna go to the um Denver Broncos versus the Las Vegas Raiders, you know, so um the I think the Raiders are favored by five and the over and under is fifty one. So but um yeah, I'm gonna be picking the, the Raiders to win this game. So then we're gonna go to the Miami Dolphins and versus the Chargers. Who saw this coming that the Dolphins would be five and two? I think you know, you know, since ever since Tua took over this team, man, 
they've been going on a winning streak, man. So they're on a two-game winning streak with with Tua. So, but um, yeah, it's gonna be too good. It's gonna be a good game, you know, with the two quarterbacks, rookie quarterbacks, you know. Um, here's Hubert versus Tua. So um, but give me the the Dolphins to win this game. Then we're going to go to the Arizona Cardinals versus the Buffalo Bills. Man, the Bills, man, they're on a winning streak, I think, or something. I think a bit, but they just like doing it. And um, but um, give me to beat them. I got you. And, um, my hopes are both for um, the Bills Mafia. So then we're gonna go to the um. Los Angeles Rams versus the Seahawks. Now, um, now this, you know, I you know the the Seattle Seahawks are off on defense, but their their offense is going clicking, you know, and they're, you know, they're oh man, but um, the Rams are like cold and hot, you know, because sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad, but I'm picking the Seahawks. I want Russell Wilson. He's gonna, you know, want to get the win because he's still in the run for the MVP candidate. Then we're gonna go to the New Orleans Saints versus the San Francisco 49ers. Man, the Saints are favored by nine, and the over and under is 49. Um, man, no way the 49ers win with all those injuries they have. You know, um. Give me the Saints to win this game, no, no doubt about it. Then we're going to go to the Indianapolis Colts versus the Bengals. Now the Steelers, they haven't lost one game, man, but, uh, yeah, but, um, see, um, Big Ben, he hurt his knee, I think, two, twice or something, so one knee, and then he got injured again. And now he's on the COVID list, so we don't know if he's in a play or not. It doesn't mean that he's he has it. It just means that he with me he he was in close in contact with somebody that had the, the virus, maybe. So we don't know if he's gonna be playing. It might be Rudolph. No, you know, but um, I don't think they could beat. The Bengals have a shot to beat the Steelers, you know. That would be an, a very upset if they beat the Steelers, man. Oh my God, that would be the upset of the of the decade. A rookie quarterback beats the the Steelers and they're undefeated, you know. So, but then there we go to the Patriots versus the Ravens. The Patriots just had a horrible. Almost lost to the Jets, the New York Jets. Man, how embarrassing! You know they had to come back to win the game, and we all knew it that the, the Jets did this on purpose to let the Patriots come back into the game. So, but the Ravens. So, um, the Ravens. I'm picking the Ravens to win this game. Um, I think the Ravens are favored seven and a half. And um, so then we're gonna go to the. Monday night game with my Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings. Man, this is a real tough game. You know, the Bears need this W. They need this W. The uh, Vikings are on a winning streak, you know, two game winning streak. So ever since uh, Delvin Cook, because he's been turning it up, man. Ever since he came back from the injury, you know, he's just been on fire, man. So, um, but I don't, I, I see picking the Bears to win this game because we do have the Vikings number, and we always do. If we stop Delvin Cook like we did with Henry, I think we could win this game. You know, we got Kirk Cousins' number. He always chokes on the primetime games, but you cannot sleep on the Vikings, man. This is a total different team from the beginning of the season. So, um, we don't know, you know, this is a, you know, 
You don't know what's going to happen. So, but uh, I'm going to be picking my Bears to win this game and end this three game losing winning streak because we need it. Because we're going to go into the bye next weekend, you know. And then we're going to have to play the Green Bay Packers after the bye. So, yeah, those are the way the picks for week 10. So, let me know um, who, do you, who do you got. Leave me in a comment below. Subscribe to my channel, share my video, and turn on those notifications and I'll, and I'll let you know every time I have a new video coming out. So this is King Pookie and I'll see you guys next week with the, hopefully with the Bears victory. So this is King Pookie signing off, Bear Down.